We're in Buffalo. Just got off our, our bus in Buffalo. We're at the Buffalo Airport. We're gonna get something to eat. We're starving. Uh, quickest border crossing ever. Ever. Like under under half an hour. Which is that's a record. Usually it's like what, three hours, four hours? Watch, there's uh, some uneven surfaces up ahead. Just watch your step. You don't want to be that guy. <laughs> no, right. Because then it'd be on your ass. That's not good. Is he tripping over a hat? Looks like a, uh, a flattened top hat, doesn't it? Yeah. Jewish hat. Jewish hat. Amish hat. Amish hat. See, those on the ground, so. So we made it to uh, Dallas here. It's about 4,000 degrees hotter than it is in Toronto when we left. It's raining. Uh, a lot of turbulence in the flight. And, uh, I like throwing up, so we here, have a good time to begin. What's up, Scott? What's up, Jeremy? Not too much. Just hanging out, just about to do a radio interview here. Uh, there's actually like seven of them here, so we're just going to go on all of them. Why not? All of them. Even the, uh, the hip-hop and R&B one. Yeah. going to hit that. <laughs> it's going to break it down. The oldies. Oldies station. Yep. Let's just start this off. Let's go. I'll tell you what. Let's go clockwise from my left. Introduce yourself to the audience, please. Uh, my name is Jeremy Burton. I play drums. And uh, my name is Scott and I sing. For the band Ordain. Yeah. Now, I'm curious about your history here. Now, you, uh, I'll get to this here in a second. You've been through Texas several times. Absolutely. Many times. Yeah, and uh, we've come a long way since then. We, we're actually based in Canada at the moment. You can probably hear that on Jeremy's accent. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So that's Jeremy's accent as Canadian, that's and yours definitely... Australia. You can uh, say that. I'll, uh, I'll take that. <laughs> no, that, but, well, see, you're in the States here, man. Chicks get, get the Australian accent. You know what else I've, what I've heard, anyway, about one reason why Texans and Australians seem to get along so well is that uh, they, they, they have a sort of similar history. Like, the, the terrains of both places are similar, wouldn't you say? I would absolutely say that, and the people are so laid back here as well. And, you know, one of your uh, last presidents actually said the same. Uh, he was a Texan. I won't mention his name on air, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, he actually said exactly the same. He said Australia's a lot like Texas. Well, so what uh, brought you guys, or what brought about the decision to make such a move all the way to this, this side of the hemisphere? Uh, well, touring, touring really brought us here. Um, this is our fifth U.S. tour. Yeah, this absolutely. This U.S. tour, and uh, probably, we probably hit Texas around the same amount of time, so it's, we just fell in love with Texas. We got a huge, huge fan response. We always, we always pack out big shows here. We always fortunately get big shows. Like obviously we're gonna be talking about Freedom Fest. Like that's that's gonna be huge for us. It's a it's hundred thousand people, right? So can't go wrong with that. It will be a nice crowd, yes it will. Yeah, I wanna play something off your album. Awesome. Um, in fact the one that I if you don't mind I'll, if you wanna pick it, that's by all means you know, please go feel for free. it man. You're you're in charge. Well, the one I, the one that I like, I like, I, I've got like six, I think, here, and the one that I really, really got into was Paralyzed. Oh, yeah. yeah. What can you? And, and personally, some people don't really care, and everybody, some people will say they don't do this, but I think almost everybody does. If not everybody, when they're listening to a song, they put themselves in their own little music video, right? All Absolutely. While they're, yeah. while they're going around jamming. <laughs> but I like to know the actual history behind songs. Like, what, what was the inspiration? You know, what were you thinking about when you were making it? That kind of thing. So what's, what's the story of Paralyzed? Uh, well, uh, well, do you want the, sh the, sh <laughs> the shallow answer is, you know, what does it mean to you? But I guess, um, you know, without getting into too much, it's basically, it's more of an Armageddon song, you know, to the end of days and and dealing with your own problems. And I guess, not coming from a, a religious side, but, um, you know, if, if Armageddon was to happen, would there be any more questions about, you know, the afterlife and, and faith and Thing. So it gets kind of deep, and uh, you're, you're like the only DJ that's actually got me to explain that, so uh, you should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> you see, we've covered, we've covered two taboo subjects so far, religion and politics. That's it. Oh, I'm going to get next. <laughs> we're going to get stoned at Freedom Fest. <laughs> <laughs> we could get real, yeah, we just got sexual preference, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> You never know, man. You know. And hey, the military has just begun to relax their thing on... Gays in the military. Well, there you go. Right. Yeah. Hey, I've seen some pretty tough gay guys. So, there you go. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Rock and roll, guys. We will looking very forward to rocking with you July 4th on post. Thank you. Freedom Fest. Thanks a lot. 
So we're just on our way to the hotel. It's, uh, it's from midnight, I believe. Um, it's going to be an early morning tomorrow. We're getting a, a military escort to the venue at, uh, at 9 a.m. We don't play till 3 p.m. So why we have to be there at 9 a.m., I don't know. But that's the plan. You guys want to kiss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. See how this? This is us. Good night. Sleep tight. We're waiting to be picked up. Yep. By some military folk and uh, get off to the base and do some sound check. Alright. Yeah. Right, Taking us to Freedom Fest. 2010. <laughs> 2012. Get it right. <laughs> man. I got this van, the guy driving the van, army man, just looked at these guys dancing at these tables, and he went like this. And they all got up and walked over, and now they're going to lift our stuff. It's part of their training. Yeah. Training to be our roadies. <laughs> My dream, a bunch of men carrying my equipment. Welcome to MTV Crimps. <laughs> Trailer edition. Yeah. It's it's the fridge. There's a fridge. It's a t it's the table. It's the toilet. Put a case and have water in there. Sitting up. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy, sit up. Nice. He's doing a really good job of helping. Right. Just a great sorry, job. Just sticking the sticking in oaks. Especially since I did all the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's this one go, Scott? This one. Uh, this one goes. Uh, Oh, this would be the uh, right here. Right there, yeah. There you go. There you go. It's a good thing you knew that. <laughs> I would. All right. We love Texas, man. We've been here like three times, and thank you for opening your doors to us Australians. Very nice of you. Ha 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 